Hi, Nancy Burr Priest here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Here's all my contact information. Please join my Facebook business page. We do fun challenges, and I like to give away Stampin' Up! product. And my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, watch to the end, and share with all your crafty friends. Today, we're going to tackle the Eclipse technique. If you notice, this is popped up. Um, eclipse, like think of an eclipse of the sun. I could move it over a little bit so you could keep the brown. That's a per personal preference, or you can just pop it straight up. And um, so what are the products I'm using? Misty Moonlight, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I am using Early Espresso, three and three quarter by five. I have a piece of the wildflower. What is it called? Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I really enjoy. I just tried this paper because it was calling to me. And um, it is on page 41 of your annual catalog. And it's called Wildly Flowering. And it's just really pretty. And I'm excited to try these at some point. I will be using those. Really pretty paper. Um, and this is three and a half, and I made it by five and a half because we're going to be doing some ripping. So I'm kind of getting it lined up, seeing where I'd want to rip. I'm going to put my thumb there, and I'm going to rip toward myself. And you don't want a straight edge. You kind of like it moving a little bit. Now, I'm going to put adhesive... Actually, I'm not going to put adhesive. <laughs> um, I am going to do the next step, which is cutting out the dies. So let me line them up. These are alphabet a la mode dies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to lay them out on my mini machine. So I have my mini cut and emboss machine. Now, this is a great month because in the month of June, right now, the mini machines are 10% off. So if that's something you think you'd like, the mini machines are great. And I think right now it's like $53. It's it's really good, good deal. So this one you have to look at a little bit different. You need um, number one. This is just, you try not to go much more than four inches or it won't fit. And it would be helpful if I put the plate down first, then I'll put this down. So now what I'm going to do is lay these out. There's my Y, my O, and my U. Now you can Put a little um, bit of uh, washi tape on there to hold it, a post-it note. I tend to just eyeball it and go, but you don't have to. So I'm putting it very carefully down so I don't move that and running it through. Now I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'm going to be careful as I'm taking this out. First of all, you don't want to lose your die. You need the middle of the O, so don't lose that part. Now, if you're going, where is the paper? You can get your little, I'll have that if you come to my class, take your pick tool out, and there's the O. So I'm going to move these to the side so I don't lose them. I'm going to move this to the side. So now I'm going to, and it's not perfect. As you can see, my, my U moved a little, and I'm okay with that. Um, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. So now I'm going to, I can use adhesive up here. Just regular old adhesive. And then I'm going to um, have some green glue here because it'll just go better if I do that. You notice I'm putting a little glue on that little part. And there we go. 
go. And if you wanted to rip it more, you could. I'm really fine with the way it is, but you could do whatever you choose. Now, what I did is I took, we have foam adhesive sheets in the back. I already cut out the Y-O-U. It's not sticky yet because I have to peel things off. I'm going to take the center of the U out because last time I did the center of the U and I really don't want it. I want it just to be this part. And this one is really sticky, coming right off. I'm gonna put that right in the center. If there's any extra, pull that off. Right in the center of that U. And you gotta kind of finesse it a little bit. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive. I think that's, you know, I should have kept an idea on where that went. I think it goes that way. And I'm going to put just once again a little bit of green glue down. This is the part I forgot. I always try to make it once and then I realize, oh, I forgot to do that part. Um, so I'm going to push that down so that part is flat. Here I forgot and, and I had to kind of push it down, but it still popped up a little bit. Now, while that glue is still pretty um, sticky, let's see, am I got it right? I think it goes this way. I'm going to just put that on there. So you've got one letter. Now, that was, I hate to tell you, you're gonna go, oh, Nancy. That was probably the easier of the letters. The Y and the U are a little trickier. I get the stuff I don't need right out of there. And it sticks to your fingers, you know, all that good stuff. Can you adhere your um, little um, piece first before you put it down? You can do it any order. I don't think it really matters. I think it's a personal preference how what order makes sense to you. There's the Y. Peeling off the extra. And I'm going to, the Y is easier because there's only one way for that to go. There you go. Now I have my little U. Same thing, punch it out. Take that middle part out that you don't need because that is not what we're gonna have. And if you feel like you're all thumbs, it's because you probably are. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's how I felt. Um, all thumbs. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I kind of do one side first. It's not. See, this one is. See what I mean? There's always one that gives me a little bit of fit. There we go. Move it over a little. Take off the adhesive. If you're not happy with it, pick it up. It's got I don't know about you, but I'm I've got my tongue out right now. Um push it in a little bit. Now we're going to put the top of the U on. And if there's a little bit, you can keep, you know, adjusting it. If there's a little bit of white showing, it's not the end of the world. Um, but you try not to get a lot of it. If it's a little bit, that's one thing. There, that's a little bit better. And push that one down. See, I like that you, I like that look better than that one. It's a personal preference, um, how you would like it to look. Um, then the only other thing I did is I took the Stylish Shapes dies and I created, um, I put Let's Celebrate, that is from Sentimental Park, and I just took my snips and snipped the end off and I popped that up there. Then I just adhered it to the card base 
On the inside, I put birthday wishes, which is from Simply Said. I used that in the um, Early Espresso and put another little piece of designer series paper. A fun card. It is not hard. It is a little bit fussy. I will admit that freely. Um, this is for my technique class, so my technique people know. Okay. Sometimes they love the techniques and sometimes they don't. So I will be interested to see if this is a technique they enjoy. But I hope you give it a try. Have a great day.